Hello. Uh, I was asked about the schematics of the LED driving circuit I use for 110 volts. So here are the components and the circuit. I use a piece of uh, prototype board. They're cheap ones that you can buy from eBay. I just use a piece of it. Uh, here uh, you need four diodes, one N4007 to make the bridge rectifier. Uh, is a full bridge. Uh, here is a 10 microfarad 200 volts cap. It's in here. Uh, then comes the tank circuit. It's a 0.47 microfarad, 250 volts, and uh, the 1K resistor. And uh, basically, is this this other part? Uh, is on the the LED cluster. I will, I will have to I have to make a few of them. Then I I'll try to to show this step by step. But basically, this is the circuit. There is nothing special. It's a very simple circuit and, a, and a very easy to create. have just the AC in, a bridge rectifier, uh, electrolytic to cap in here, the tank circuit with the 0.47 micro, microfarad and the 1K resistor and that's it. Then you, you, you begin the LED cluster with this other diode, it's just a safe diode uh, on the LED cluster board. After placing the uh, bridge rectifier the next step is to to put the capacitor and solder it. Well, the capacitor uh, is on its place. Uh, just make sure that you place it uh, on the right position. The negative rail on the negative uh, part of the bridge rectifier and the positive on the positive uh, side of the bridge rectifier so just make sure of that and the next step is to install the tank circuit that is the capacitor and the resistor after the tank circuit installed, uh, it's ready. This is the final circuit I use. Uh, I have now just connected the wires. And these two places in here on the side comes the AC of the circuit on the left and right side and on the top goes out the negative for the LED cluster and from here you get the positive rail of the D DC so that's it it's a simple circuit to use nothing special 
Here's the schematics again. Thanks for watching.